High-quality Kobe beef has been shipped to China for the first time. A truck carrying 200 kilograms of the beef left a meat packing plant near Kobe City, Hyogo Prefecture on Sunday. Kobe beef refers to meat from the black Tajima cattle breed grown in Hyogo Prefecture. The brand name can only be used for beef that meets the group's criteria. We pledge to expand overseas sales of Kobe beef to make it the world's most coveted brand. Local traders say they decided to export the beef because of sluggish domestic consumption and strong sales of expensive beef overseas. Another factor was Japan's moves toward joining negotiations for the Trans-Pacific Partnership Free Trade Agreement. A meat wholesaler in Macau says Kobe beef is well known in Hong Kong and other parts of China, and the exports will be popular. The beef will fetch about $65 per 100 grams in Macau. Major Japanese milk producers have announced that screening tests for radiation will soon begin at about 100 dairy factories. This is in response to growing concerns among consumers. Municipalities have been conducting radiation checks before raw milk goes to dairies, but only a few have been checking the milk afterward. Ever since the Health and Welfare Ministry decided to strengthen food safety standards for milk from April, there has been a growing call from consumers for more screening. Under the tougher standards, milk will be allowed to contain 50 becquerels per kilogram, one quarter the current permissible level. The Japan Dairy Industry Association says the screening will be conducted in Tokyo and 16 prefectures in eastern Japan. It will announce the results by the end of this month. Come back home. That's the message from the mayor of a town near the Fukushima nuclear power plant who wants all evacuees to start returning home in April. Kawauchi village is located about 20 kilometers southeast of the plant. It was evacuated last year following the March 11th earthquake and nuclear disaster. All 3,000 residents were forced to leave. The evacuation advisory was lifted in September, but only about 200 people have returned. I am making this declaration to ask and encourage residents to return home. I am determined to overcome hardships. Let's create a safe village together. Endo announced on Tuesday he will return the village hall in March. He says elementary and junior high schools will reopen in April. The nuclear accident forced a complete evacuation of nine unit municipalities in Fukushima. Kawauchi will be the first to have residents return home, but many are worried. They say decontamination work is behind schedule. My child wants to go home, but I'm worried about radioactivity. I have mixed feelings. Another concern is jobs. There are 95 businesses in the village, but only 35 have re reopened since the quake. The declaration is only the beginning. I'm not expecting results soon. I hope villagers come home after all radioactive substances have been removed, maybe in two or three years. Japan is holding a one-month tourism campaign in Singapore in an effort to reverse the effects of the March disaster. Yeah! The Discover Japan exhibition opened on Saturday. 54 posters are on display showcasing Japan's major tourist attractions and local specialties. The number of tourists from Asian countries visiting Japan declined sharply last year, mainly because of the March disaster and nuclear accident, but also due to the record strong yen. The number of tourists from around Asia dropped by 30 percent and from Singapore by nearly 40 percent. The tourism office plans to hold more concerts and fashion shows of popular Japanese brands during the campaign. I hope the campaign will help Singaporeans rediscover Japan's attractions and encourage them to visit the country. Japan's Environment Ministry is getting ready to test-run cleanup measures for areas with high levels of radiation around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The ministry has unveiled a model project to decontaminate three closed sections of a national expressway running through the no-entry zone near the plant.
The ministry recently announced a decontamination plan for some evacuation zones where radiation levels have dropped below 50 millisieverts per year. The goal is to clean the areas by March 2014. The new project includes areas where radiation reaches levels substantially above 50 millisieverts a year. A total of more than five kilometers of expressway is slated for the new project. The trial will run from March through July. The ministry will assess the project's effectiveness to decide how best to decontaminate other areas.